Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Movie Driven, and welcome to another News Talk episode. And before I start the episode, if you guys can hear any noise in the background, it's rain, and it's raining a lot in Norway right now. Oh, big surprise. We're known for our big rains. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, if that really bothers you, I'm sorry for that. But, you know, it's kind of a storm outside, and it's rainy. But it's kind of comfortable to make a commentary while it's raining outside, just as long as I don't do it outside, and I'll become soaking wet. But anyways, let's start with the episode, and I got some great news for you guys. I know it was some great news for me. If you guys love District 9, which most of you guys probably did, I have some, not good news, but I have some amazing news for you guys. There will be a District 10, and a lot of people are probably thinking that's not true, because District 10 was not confirmed. Turns out, it's confirmed, it's gonna happen. Here's the problem, though. When it's going to happen, we don't know. Yet. We don't know yet. This just happened as I'm recording this video. I found this article for like a few minutes ago. Today, as I'm recording this video, is July 16th, 2013. And this video is probably coming out for several, several weeks later now. And I'm sorry for that. But District 10 might be happening. And oh my god, coming from a guy who loves District 9, who gave it a 10 out of 10 which was my first 10 out of 10 movie I gave in this channel because I review movies, you know? Holy shit, I am super excited. I was hoping that a sequel would come out. I'm not one of those people who'd be like, oh, don't make a sequel. I mean, it depends on a movie, of course, but this one definitely should have a sequel. First, he was interviewed, and this was like several years ago. I think this was around the time when District 9 actually came out. What he said was that he had no plans on making a sequel, but if he ever were to make another District 9 quote-unquote movie, or District 10 that people call it, he would make a prequel to like how the aliens got to Earth and how they existed and stuff like that. Me personally, it's like, okay, we really don't know how the aliens got created, how their world looks like, how it works, but I really don't care about the world. I care about the world they are in now, like Earth, how it's going in the storyline over at the camp. That's what I care about, you know? And the scientist guy. I'm not gonna be spoiling District 9, so if you have not seen District 9, guys, I recommend the movie so much you have no idea how much i recommended guys if you have not seen district 9 what are you waiting for shut this video down of course leave a comment or a rating if you want to but you know just close the video down go watch the movie already i made a review about it you can go to my channel and search up the review if you want to to see my opinion and why i love it so much and what i felt about it and district 10 do i think this is gonna be a great movie i think it's gonna be an awesome movie as a matter of fact he got interviewed Neil Blockham, that's what the director is called. And the reason for why we know about District 10 now is because he turned down on making a Star Wars movie. I think he was one of those directors who had potential to make a Star Wars movie. Instead, he wanted to make something more into his original projects, like District 9. It's completely original. If you make a District 10, he's going to make a bigger role for his original project instead of making something that's already made for like so many years ago. And I think that's a great thing. Some people out there probably big Star Wars fans out there are going to be like, no, come on, what are you doing? He's a good director. He should make Star Wars. We have J.J. Abrams for that. I trust J.J. Abrams. I think he's going to be doing great. Neil Blockham can go to District 10. We need a District 10. You guys have no idea. Go watch the movie and you'll understand why we need a sequel. If you've already seen the movie, you know the story. You know the drift. So Neil Blockham, he wrote a 18-page treatment for the sequel for his wife slash partner, Terry Tatchell, and he describes this page or this movie or the story to be really fucking cool. That's what he says, quote unquote, really fucking cool. No sarcastic, no nothing. He's going to say this movie is going to be pretty fucking cool. And I cannot wait. The article will be in the description down below. You can read it down yourself. Leave me a comment down below. Are you excited for District 10? And don't forget to rate the video. Like it if you are excited. Dislike if you're not. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links will be in the description down below. And take care.